Okay, we'll call the night's meeting to order for July 9th, 2018. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Whatever language you would okay. choose. USD 393 will prepare its students mentally, socially, physically to live successfully in a modern society. Thank you. Item 3 is the approval of the agenda for the regular meeting. We do have one addition. Clear down to 19-11, which will be item B, disposal of surplus technology items. And that's the only thing we have, so. I move that we approve the agenda as presented. Okay, and a second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries. Uh, the next item is organi organization for the new year of officers, starting with uh, number 4.1, which would be the election of the Board of Education president. With that, I would open the floor for nominations of the position of president. I would move to nominate Andrea as president. Okay. Then move and second. Are there any other nominations? <laughs> Is there a motion to close that nominations? I move we close the nominations. Okay. And casting the name of the ballot. That's exactly what I said. That's what I thought you yep. said. Yep. Casting yeah. exactly. I will second that. All in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, with that, I will turn it over to you, Madam President. Okay. And congratulations. Thanks. All right. So next, now we elect the vice president. I told on Andrea that if she was willing to take president, I would do the vice president. Okay. To Help her through the first year if that's what she wanted. That's kind of awesome. I mean, that'd be great. So yeah. I would move to make Brad the vice president. Second. I move that the nomination cease. Second. And cast that you name the spell it thing is what you said. Oh, yeah. 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 I know she was writing that, but I just wanted to see. <laughs> try to keep things <laughs> quick and simple. <laughs> okay. All right. All in favor? Motion carries. All right, so now elect BOE governmental relations representative. And that one, you guys, we had several of them went last year. Um, but that's the one where you have somebody who, if we do have, like it'd be good to go to Topeka in January, um, if you can, and spend the day at the Capitol, have a day for you guys at the Capitol. It's a good time to meet your legislators. Um, and then as well, I think four or five of you went last year to the KSB convention, and then that would be the voting delegate or somebody who you assign. But if that person goes, they can go to the delegation assembly for you guys to vote on policies. Um, and this year, the KSB convention is in Kansas City. Did Brad share is that? Yeah, that a couple of years Brad did it because nobody else went. <laughs> or some people didn't learn. Yeah. Didn't learn last year because yeah. I think we voted. Did she do it last yeah, year? Yeah, she did it last year. I would move that we, uh, I would nominate Dustin. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'd second that. Mm -hmm. All right. All in favor? Raise your hand. Motion oh. carries. There you go. Okay. Next is the presentation and recognition. Is that so? Uh, just an update. Uh, they did have their trip to D.C. Um, I found out a little bit um, through that. It was a little bit of a different experience because. Uh, Mr. Owens' um, ma mother took a turn for the worse, so he had to fly back, and um, she passed away on Saturday, and funerals tomorrow. Um, and so one of those things that it was a little bit different, our kids adjusted well, though it sounds like Mrs. Owens took right over and, and led the group. And, uh, we didn't break, nobody broke, but uh, we still had a good experience, it sounds like. Got, got to see some sites out there that you don't necessarily see around here, for sure, in Baltimore and D.C. area. 
could have. Yep. Did that? Was that a class that would have went to BC? Before they quit doing it, it was it? Manning would have. Yeah. That would have been the last Maddie class. Been that the was the last, last class. class. So. Oh yes. I'm yeah. Sorry. Maddie would have gone. Yeah. Cameron. Maddie went with Bryce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, like, uh, um, <laughs> some of those juniors never had never gone. Those are right. so. Yep. Okay. Nineteen <clears throat> six approval of payment of claims and bills. Can I be? Those over. I move we approve the payments and claims as presented. Second. All in favor is right hand. Motion carries. Okay. Next is a consent agenda, and I do have to read all these. Uh, is that what, don't is that what you do? Have don't have to, no, because they all have a copy of it. Dean Ann's looking at me like, I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to read them. Sure you don't have to. You do not have to read them. Um, just ask if there any questions. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any questions on those? All the standard A for Q. Nothing, nothing changes in there, I should say. Nothing has changed. Probably the only thing probably to point out is the substitute teacher pay, $95 for a full day, 47.50 for a half day. Substitute bus driver, uh, $20.50 per route, and there's not been a raise there for a long time. Let's just say a long, long time. So. Mm -hmm. That's substitute bus driver. <coughs> By the time you take taxes out, we were figuring it. You, we have a gracious, thank goodness for those, and bless their souls and hearts because they're doing it out of the kindness of their heart to do it. And the activity route, we did increase that 875. So it, we have not always followed that on all those little extra things, but the, those are the ones that I don't, it's been over, I want to say 10 years, close to 10 years or more since we've updated those. So bus driver duty definitely needs to be addressed. <coughs> So what would you recommend for the substitute bus driver pay? That's on there. $20.50 that that per round. Oh, that is the increase. That's the increase, okay. too. Oh, yeah, it was at 19 19 $19.50. It's a dollar more. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I just said I'm saying. I know, but you can't go. You know what I'm saying. You can't throw it. Yeah, I was going to say it. Oh, easy, because we have a lot of substitute bus drivers. We can gradually do it. You don't want to go and throw it at 27 or something. This is, we're getting closer to work. Yes. And you understand some of that, either your activity route pay is where some of them, you know, that's not bad pay at all. 875, you get to go to a ball game and drive. And so those that do, uh, we have some bus drivers that don't want to take an activity route, they just want to sub so then they can help out, get their kid from school, drive the route to go home. So um, there's some for each, for sure, that like that. Sorry, wow. it was the only one to point out that was different. Okay. I should say it's not your normal organizational. <coughs> What's yours? So after looking over this, I move we approve the consent agenda as presented. I'll second. All in favor is right hand. Motion carries. See, I just want to make it go faster. Oh, and I love it. You're doing great. You're doing great. Um, now reports with the superintendent's report first. Okay, and some of this you guys have already seen, heard. I'm going to see if you guys have questions. I sent you pictures. And some of them here have not seen them, but I'll show it to them so that way they can pass it on to their um, other teachers and staff members. But all of a sudden we had a sinkhole. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Andrea, <laughs> her girls, they found it. And, I don't know if Asher was a part of it or not, but but then I was seeing some of the pictures, so I'm, I'm so glad that you took the picture and then got out of there because the sinkhole basically engulfed where they were taking the picture. So uh, it was collapsing in from the time that Andrea sent it to me to the time that we actually got Brad and, and uh, the engineer over there, it was just caving in, caving in, caving in. So uh, did find out that it was an old what do you want to call it? Cistern. Not cistern. No. What was oh, it? it was a section. storm drain. A okay. storm drain, something built in the 1930s, something like that, back in the day, a long time ago. Turn of the century, sometime. Yeah, turn of the century, For sometime. Best guess. And it caved in, and there's four foot. That's what basically caused it. And the sidewalk is all torn up and slanted, and so the water was. It's funny because we got a brief storm, 
the shower, and so all the water ran right into the sinkhole where it was. And so you could tell, well, that would be the reason why. Yeah. So uh, we need to fix the sidewalk. We need to get the water draining somewhere else, which leads to our other draining issues. When it doesn't rain forever, um, you can see where we had cemented in the drain. Um, we'll leave it at that. Um, yeah. I wonder why it doesn't dry. Drain. Uh, they did uh, just so that way you know they have fixed the um, the fax room was having water come in underneath it, and so we found that out when they were cleaning it. The outlet that's in the floor, like we have here, uh, it was completely full of water and moisture, and so we're lucky we didn't just have a short or anything like that. So, so what did they do? So what they did is they basically it's like termites. They took little holes and they drilled them in, and this is jelly petroleum thing that goes down there and acts as a barrier and it expands and seals all the way around. There's only two uh, companies that do it in the state and one's out of Hutch and so we got the one from Hutch. They were actually we're just working over in Salina so it worked out pretty good. Except for the fact that it worked out so good it cost $14,000. So, but it did fix the foundation. It's not, they fixed and sealed all the cracks that are down there by the, our problem, our fear was that it was going to just collapse. Um, and so uh, he said we're good there. It, it was, it was definitely in the fax room. Um, and they sealed everything up to, and from the factory all the way to the art room. So they did get all that done. Uh, they were over here and it took them, uh, I think, two days to do it. And so they've had it blocked off over there. Um, like I said, we're going to get the concrete work fixed over there on the west side so it doesn't run down the sidewalk. We'll actually have a straight sidewalk and then get it flushed out to the street where it can so drain. So they didn't do anything with that part? They, just they didn't just do any of that part yet because that's on the west side over by the sinkhole. And so Brule's going to do that when he comes I mean, out before the Over by the factory. room? No. Is there something to get it out away from? Yes. Way? Yes. We switched it. What was happening was the top um, and the air conditioner, so all the condensation, all the water coming off that big rooftop unit was all being pumped right down there. So we had pesting or take it and reroute it to the other side where there's actually a better drain system. And so they rerouted it and we seemed to be better there. And in fact, in fact, there's no water at all there. It's dry as a bone now. But when we get rain, do we have anything to get it away from the building? We were working on that. That's okay. the thing we got to do is get the we got to get a trench, but for right now to get it out of there before it came in mosquito heaven or the water kept creeping, we at least got that taken care of. So, uh, we're not going to get the water in there. But anyways, uh, da, 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 da. we talked about a little bit and everybody and when we met to set the agenda, leaving the parking lot, do we switch it? Uh, do we leave it? I think we're going to leave it for now um, until we get a better idea on what we want to do with secured entry. And I think I noted on here or somewhere. And one of my notes to you guys is the fact that you might allude to this, Brad, a little bit more about the opportunity we have. Um, the specialist coming out and visiting, you might add to that. You know more about it. Yeah, the, the, the architect that we're using for the jail project has a consultant that he's partnered with. Is, uh, specializes in facility security, and they've offered to come out. And they're just getting into school, so they're off, him knowing I was on the board, said they'd like to do a little experiment and come out and they offered to uh, do an assessment of our facility and do a walkthrough and give us some ideas on what could be done to strengthen yeah. our strengthen yeah. our security presence. So. Yep. And so uh, right now they came out and moving on then and we got the doors. You can see, I don't think in here, but in the classrooms you can lock them now, except for down at the upper elementary, they haven't gotten down there yet. But everywhere else is, is taken care of. They'll be back out, I think, this week. With the 4th of July where it was, nobody worked last week. So it seemed like everybody was off the whole week. Well, I know, but it's funny how you couldn't get a hold of anybody. Um, and then they'll be out to do the keyless entry. Um, I think it's next week. Now, they came back out um, last Friday and looked at things and needed to change some things to their what they need to do to make it happen correctly. So they need to run some different wires. And so they came out and did a walkthrough. So they thought they'd be here next week. Uh, and that should take, they thought they would take uh, a couple days there and they'd be done with that. So we're getting there. Um, Greenbush Services, is, uh, just so that way you know, um, it's funny how we, we've gone through um, everything. And, and these, is actually most of them, I think they were sitting here, talked about the color code and things that I'm excited about for Greenbush, things we have coming for them when they come back. Uh, color code is basically a personality, it's like a personality test. And so, if I'm a green, you're a yellow, you're a red, that all means something else, but how do you work together? And so I think that will help our, our administrators, will help our faculty members, and how do we work with other people. Um, and they even have another version for them, but that's just one of the things we get as part of our consortium membership. We get to select six different services, that's one of them. And so I just want to give you an update that we've selected several, and that's one that we selected this year, and there's all sorts of things that we select, but 
um, individual plan study and improving it. And so that's the things that we've been talking about and, and working on as we prepare for next year. Uh, I'm going to go to Supreme Court and end with Kite. Supreme Court, obviously, uh, it seems like <coughs> same thing another year. They give an extension. Uh, they're not going to close schools, obviously, <coughs> here today. Uh, they do need more money being put in, but they did not make them go back, them meaning the legislature go back um, and put the money in for next year, fiscal year. But by April 15th, they have to have a fix to the problem. And so then after that, then it goes to the Supreme Court to see if that was enough money and so on and so forth. Most people were thinking that, um, like I put there, somewhere around $175 million increase over three years will satisfy the court. Right now they've got it only at about 100 over five. So they need to increase it a little bit there. But the good news is that state revenues are up, and so it shouldn't be too difficult, and they shouldn't have to raise taxes as long as everything keeps going. However, that all remains to be seen with what happens with other industries in our state and uh, other things that are coming from the federal side. Uh, kite insurance. Today I was in uh, Silver Lake and Topeka talking about the insurance and, and the steps that we go. So I met with the McGinnis Group, which is a consulting firm that basically deals with contracts and negotiating um, for on our behalf as far as the Kite Group. And then also with the lawyers and um, him drawing up and rewriting uh, the bylaws and the trust agreement. Um, so we started the first phase of that, the officers did. We met today for about two and a half hours and just talking about things. Our next step then, um, as I sent out to the rest of the Kite membership uh, before I left and sent out the minutes, um, the next step is that we'll contact um, Blue Cross Blue Shield. We'll sit down with their representatives from the trust um, and sort of just get some feedback and, you know, how come we were up 17% three years ago and then up 11% last year and then all of a sudden now we're down 7%. So how come we're on this roller coaster and how much are we actually in making in reserves? Um, discussion was actually had today, just so you're aware, do we go to a self-insured um, trust um, or are we going to be a fully funded? Like right now we're fully funded. In other words, everything that goes in there um, goes straight to Blue Cross Blue Shield to help fund the policy. Or do you become a self-insured policy? You still use Blue Cross Blue Shield, there's no doubt about it. But then. You, you take out basically a rider for every catastrophic anything above that will help pay for the insurance and you, those premiums go to the trust and don't necessarily go straight to Blue Cross Blue Shield. Because right now your money, everything that we write goes straight to Blue Cross Blue Shield or should it actually go to the trust then to pay out. So most large groups are not self, are, are self-insured and uh, buy back the catastrophic is a way to look at it or call it, you call it different things. But reinsurance. Reinsurance so basically we get to a certain level. So. Um, now, those are the things that we were in the discussions of right now um, and starting those discussions. Trying to be very friendly right now, not going to get aggressive. Uh, that's a big one. We do not want to get aggressive yet because, you know, we also understand that Blue Cross Blue Shield is the one who we want to go with, for sure. We don't want to lose that. That card says a lot in the state of Kansas, so we don't want to lose that for anyone in our membership. That's all I have, unless you have questions. Um, they don't. They don't have any reports because they're they're not on contract. Either one of them. So um, both of them are not here today. Sorry. The rec report. I will say the rec. I, I will give an update a little bit. They did have a meeting um, that uh, in. Well, Liz, you were there. You can give the update if you like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought they did a very good job of sitting down and talking about goals and talking about budget and the things that they're going to. Um, if I misspeak, let me know. But I thought they had a good discussion. Actually, it was longer than I had imagined it being. But it was for almost yeah. two hours in my office the other day and with Dean Ann uh, helping them just walk through the budget, how, where they're at uh, financially and where they, what goals do they have. And if you're going to raise a mill, what are you going to do with the mill and so on and so forth. So they had some very good dialogue. And um, our representative was out there sweating his butt off the, when I was out there at softball tonight, working and, and, and helping and doing some things in the bathroom mm -hmm. over there. So Jim A was over there making it rock and roll for the wreck. And, and that's one thing they talked about was making it a definitely a working board. And those of you that have served or been around the wreck, you know um, the only way it gets done is if somebody does it. Uh, you don't have somebody to do all the work. You are the work. It is a working board. So I think you got some good people on there to make it happen. So. Good. Parents as teachers report. Was it was in there, and sorry, 
one of the things that they had, uh, I didn't realize this, community baby shower, uh, to increase some, some groups and some people from Solomon did attend it. It was for the county, and they did a good job there. And uh, um, So they're good, the names, and they'll follow up there. But we do not know, and this goes back to everything. I, we were just talking about budget last week, uh, early last week, and talking about, well, what grants. We don't know anything on the PAT grant, which is odd. We don't know anything on our early childhood, which is odd. Um, there's also a grant for safe and secured schools uh, that we wrote. Uh, we don't know where we're at on that one. So there's a lot of uh, revenue sources that the state hasn't let us know yet, and that should be coming down here, mm -hmm. I would think, no later than July 20, so we can start doing budgets for everybody. Can start doing those things. Yep. What's that? Isn't there an ice cream cocoa? Or was there one? There was one. I was a community preschool. I had one out here the other night. It was very well attended. Yep. I would move we approve the superintendent's report. Second. Been moved and seconded. All in favor, raise your right hand. Mr. Carries. I know we've already done it in the consent agenda, but on the grants, you'd originally put, we had two grants that we approved. Yeah. And then the one was the Mahaska that we talked about. Well, I didn't, those are not, that was probably the old copy that's in your hands. I apologize. That is not the current copy. We didn't get the money yet. Oh, we did it. Okay. Pulled those out. It's probably an old copy that's in your hands. I didn't say it. That's why. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's about reason. Why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, we didn't get the money yet. But we anticipate we might. And the only reason I ask is there's a booster club meeting this weekend, and I thought it might be a good time to bring it up if they're even interested in doing something like that. Um, yeah, as long as we're good, oh, we'd have to check. Nick would have to check. He gets back on Monday, so I can ask Becky if we have it. Well, what I'm talking about is uh, every year. Pepsi, Nebraska, Quadman gives money to each school district based on their profits, and we usually get about two thousand dollars a year, I think, in it. Mm -hmm. And I suggested when we met to set the agenda up that possibly we could utilize that money to earmark to the booster club if they want to start a campaign to help replace the scoreboard football field, because that's been something that's been talked about for the last ten years, but we've never really got it off the ground. And uh, that might, I don't know. You said we had something else. We do. I, I wouldn't want to use all 2000 just for the simple fact that I know that for like our, our students of the month when they take them out to lunch and things like that, that's where that money goes to. So that's sort of like, uh, I think it was in the principal's line item, you might say, and they use that money for some of those things for them. So, But I mean, that doesn't mean that half of it can't go to it or whatever, get it started for sure. Or it doesn't mean we couldn't pull a student of the month from somewhere else and put all of it in there. <laughs> true, true. I mean, it's a matter of juggling money. It is, it is a matter of I mean, I don't want to jeopardize that program either. But yeah, no, no. I, whatever we decide, I mean, it might be, might be something to get the booster club to start on something. I wish Dustin was here because he knows more where he, what he utilized that money for. Because um, it has always gone through the high school principal's account and they use it for various activities. Oh, I understand. <coughs> but that would be a good thing. It's also our decision. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> but just something to think about. It, well, if it were, and even if we did have of it, I mean, if it was something we were interested in, we could bring it up to Booster Club meeting Sunday and see if they're interested in it. So. Mm -hmm. Because I'm Well, and it all depends upon how lavish you want the scoreboard to get as far as how much it's going to cost. You know, you can get one for. Five grand, and you can get one for seventy-five grand. I mean, it depends on what all bells and whistles you want on it, and how much decorations you want to put on it too. Something similar to what we have now with those functions. Uh, there's a, they make them now that you put a panel on front of them when you have, so you don't have to build buy the whole oh, thing. And it's an LED panel that goes on the front. And I want to say it was about seventy-five hundred when I priced it a few years ago. So I know we put a brand new one in at Gossel uh, three years before I left when we did the track and finished it up. And if you've been to Gossel, you can see it's got the, the big arch over top of it with the logo, and it was 12 grand. That's what it was. And it had everything. It kept the time. So it, the time was always on it. It's always on it. So when you walk around the track in the mornings, you know what time it is. So, I mean, there are some advantages to that for your community. I mean, it was just always on it. But it was LED, so it doesn't, I mean, it's.
That's why I said you can get as many, you can get it even more loud. You can put a uh, TV in the middle of it too. I don't like when you can do No, I don't either. I was just Jumbotron. Saying, I don't Jumbo. Jumbo. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'd have to videotape. Who would look good with our graphs? Because our, our football. Oh, listen to it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Okay, so move on to the Board of Policy Review. Uh, it is a thick book. If you uh, looked at it and had a chance to look at it, we do not approve it at this board meeting. It's just uh, to go through. A lot of it is uh, different procedures for federal programs. So as you get the money, how are you supposed to, uh, what are the procedures for it and the cash flow through? It's basically just um, federal compliance issues. Nothing major there. The other one was probably the one that changes a little bit is the local wellness policy and we do have a wellness policy uh, I do know for a fact uh, um, and so it just it just uh, basically uh, rewrites a, a few of the wordings for the wellness policy there and gives you a sample one. Uh, the other ones are just made minor language items in there those are probably the two major ones is they thought they should address federal money um, it touches the books usually you draw down the money the way it works is we draw down the money for federal whatever and then we spend it right away. It's usually already spent before we draw it down. Well, I think it's supposed to be spent before we draw it Yes. Down. Yeah. So it's not like you're drawing it down and waiting and holding on to it. There's yeah. got to be a purpose for the federal money. So, unless you have okay. questions, you approve it next board meeting. Okay. Any questions? Uh, 1910 approved textbook fees for 1819 school year. Last year it was 60 and reduced to 40 for free. And that covered what we need to cover? Well, it sort of goes back to that $2,000. Does it cover, I mean, uh, it's never going to cover everything. Um, but does it, uh, does it help put a little bit uh, of onus on the people who are going to use our technology and use our books and you know I would say yes but then at the same time you've seen the technology reports um, and I would say some of them just abuse it and to them it's not a big deal if they have to replace a hundred dollars on a Chromebook or, or completely replace the Chromebook or whatever and damage it so uh, I think some of it is is that if you have skin in the game you're going to take care of it a little bit more there's a part of that and then a part of it is to recoup the fees don't get me wrong because there is a a cost um, to basically do business as far as providing that technology to the students so it's going to rec recoup some of it does it recoup all of it absolutely not we put it into uh, textbooks is where we put it into and apply it against any textbooks that we purchase and so that's what it's used for so technology wise are we recouping any of the technology no back in the day uh, I think my very first year, five years ago now, the discussion at this board meeting at this time, in fact, was uh, we had a technology fee, we had a book fee, you had a band fee, an ag fee, and you guys made the decision, I remember that board meeting, to say, we're just going to lump it all together. And you're just going to put one fee and be done with it, so you're not just always adding up this, 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 and this. Um, so that was five years ago, and I don't know if we've, or four years ago, I don't know if you've actually uh, increased it in, since then. I don't remember. I, asking, I think it's been at 55 and 60. I yep. think it was 55 and then it went to 60. Yeah, it was 55 and then yeah. it went to 60. Yeah, it's gone up five bucks. So yeah. do we have a balance in whatever account that's the other? Or what? It, what we use it for, we don't use it for adoptions, but we use it for additional textbooks, rebinding, that sort of thing. So we always make sure that the expenses that we incur in general fund and supplemental, yeah. we transfer to that revolving fund and we roll it out. So like all those textbooks that are back behind you on the wall there, the accounting ones that are up against the wall, I mean, if we have bad ones and they need to be repaired, it's used that, or if we have one that's, like for instance today, Zach, uh, Mr. Douglas, our new business teacher came in and said, hey, I don't see any um, Office, um, uh, Microsoft Office books to teach one of the classes he has. And I said, well, get, a, get it, and that's what that fund is used for. Complete overhaul of the English curriculum textbooks, or I think my first year we did Wonders, uh, when I was the elementary principal, we completed the wonders. That's a twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars. That's not what that fund's used for at all. That's not for a complete adoption of the curriculum. It's just for to supplement. So, answer your question: Yes, it does suffice that. Do we have we charged people for damage to their Chromebooks? Yes, yes. In fact, you approved that last month. Um, 
at the board meeting a new policy to where uh, if they completely destroy it, then uh, they're, they're paying for it. It's now in policy. Um, we had done it before, but we didn't have policy to stand behind it. And so we had a few people that challenged us on it. And so we revamped it, and that was part of the handbooks and stuff last, or last meeting. So, and it's actually a good one. It's used by many, many. I think everybody just steals it and trades it around. Uh, it's the same way that many of them use. I think this is plenty. And I don't think increasing it. I think you need to leave it where it's at um, for now. You increase the lunch prices. Um, so understand, if you have a family of three and you're full pay, that, that over the course of a whole year, that, that does add up for people. So. I would move we approve the technology or the textbook fees for the 1890s school years at St. Right? It's been moved and seconded that we leave the fees the same on Fabry's right hand. Uh, technology improvements for 1819. Okay. Uh, Several years ago, you approved the, we're actually on the back end of this, this is the last year for it, which was the technology um, plan, which was a part of the strategic plan. And so this is actually the last year for that, and of the technology plan, I should say. And the, the, the quotes that are on there, uh, we finally got one from Two Trees, which is a vendor out of Wichita for us. NCS is out of Manhattan, and CDW is nationwide. And basically, as you can see, the price is right there. I think they're on the screen there. Um, comparing apples to apples, uh, one of the things that uh, NCS is not uh, that way, and Two Trees is not able to supply the relay client, which is what we need. But anyway, CDW would be the recommendation, and that would put everybody. So now you've taken, and so instead of buying new iPads to replace iPads, if you've noticed, all we've done is move iPads down. As they become older, you've got some from way back in the day that were with um, Ann Klug would have been the first one to actually have them way back in the day. Those are actually still in operation. Uh, so that was a long time ago. And so now those are going to basically be used at the lower, lower, lower pre-K, kindergarten, but the rest of them then are going to be, uh, those are damaged instead of repairing them. Of course, going to supplement those and then this becomes the new one. So a lot cheaper than going out and buying brand new Apple uh, iPads. And so they are basically going to be the exact same ones that you have. Uh, that was the other debate Mark and I had today. Um, the, the newest, the, if you upgrade one level, you wouldn't get them until September. Uh, it did not matter if we ordered this two months ago or this uh, or now. Uh, this will take care of your technology, um, you, you know, is your capital outlay technology line item that we do every single year or so in the new fiscal year. So this just gets it in and we're using it in this fiscal year. How many units is that? Oh, he didn't even put that on there, did he? No, he didn't. How many units is it? 55. Don't quote me, I don't want to say 55. <laughs> I'll find that out. I don't want to tell you exact, uh, by, I swear we said 55. The other one is that some of our teachers are going to use some, not all, but few are using Chromebooks instead of laptops as their machine. Well, there it is. It's 3160 a unit. So what does that end up being? I could be wrong on that. 18, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40. Well, that's just deep on isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just pretty. Yep, 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 yep. Mark, that's what you're saying. It's quantity right here. If you add those all up and divide the 18, 30, I want to say 50. Oh, I don't know why I'm free. Lori, do you remember? Say that again. Do you remember how many this is? I honestly don't. I don't want to miss. I don't know how I got through that. <laughs> we tossed around so many numbers. We talked about. Let me look here. Oh yeah. Okay. My bad. I thought I had something to be upset. I thought I'm gonna make this deal myself. Sixty. I was wrong. Sixty uh, Chromebooks. Okay. So we need a motion. 
portion that who, who purchased. Yep. From CDW. I would love to purchase the 60 Chromebooks with all the quoted uh, options. A uh, price of $18,239.40 from CDW. It's been moved and seconded to purchase the Chromebooks. Motion carries your right hand. Motion carries. Um, also, under there, the disposal of surplus technology. Do we need to? I would move that we dispose of the items of surplus technology that are listed in the drop box, which includes a bunch of old computers and yes. projectors and such, as listed by Mr. Shardy, to be disposed of at the electronic waste or however he sees fit. Or the sinkhole. Or the sinkhole. Or the sinkhole. Yeah. Well, there. Just kidding. Be another treasure. Make it a big deal. Make it a big deal. To be open in 50 years. All in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries. All right, last future dates and topics. I have a time box or whatever. Time caps. Time caps. July 30th of 31st is enrollment. Next board meeting is August 13th. Uh, August 14th in service for teachers. August 22nd, first day of school. So one of the things discussed was, I put, forgot to put it on there, um, didn't, because, but anyway, it's August 21st is the back to school night. We still have another board meeting before then. Um, that's why I didn't put it on there. But the 21st is the back to school night. You might talk about what you, you and Andrew discussed. Well, we had talked at, um, I think the last meeting Brad had brought up, uh, oh, having yeah. a, oh, um, no, yeah. like a, what is it, meet, <laughs> meet and greet with the board, or, yeah. um, to talk, because we were trying to, meeting, yeah. yeah, come up with a date for that, but one of the ideas was maybe to do that on the back to school night. Yeah, we were having a difficult, time. difficult time finding a night that everybody was available, so Justin came up with the idea of maybe doing it on the back to school night. And we can help serve hot dogs or something downstairs and then come up here or be in one of the classrooms and somebody wanted to stop in to talk to somebody on the board or talk to all of us or whatever, they'd have an opportunity to do it that night. And you guys have all attended that night. We introduced right. all the staff. So we introduced all the staff. And so we would introduce all of you guys. And then obviously you want to go to your kids. But if you did a little shit to where somebody's mm -hmm. in here all the time, you know, in here and they'd be in here for you guys to visit or whatever. I just think the other part is that next month in August you will also get the out of district applications of all of our students that are out of district. Some of those, some of those uh, parents may not even know who you are because they send their kids here because they they like our educational system, okay, and they respect what you guys do. So, but they may not even know who you are, and so that'd be a great way for you guys uh, to be introduced so they know who you are as well. And then a chance to come in and visit. Mm -hmm. And it's not another night out. Because you're most of you are here anyways. <laughs> I like the idea. So. I think I'm actually in Kansas that week. Well, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> Cut. Well, maybe. We'll, plan on. we'll all send more details later. How's that sound? Sounds so good. Cut. And we'll get it out to everybody so they know. Good. Yeah. We're headed for oh. a record. Yes. For fun. Um. Mr. President, or Mrs. President, <laughs> I apologize for one first. Mrs. President, I move that we adjourn. What is our second? Second. I hope everyone's right in. Motion carries. We're done. Yeah, all done. Well done. Well done.